Hi, we're BFOL, Brother Fans of Lego. Here today with Lego The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug set. This is set number 79012, Mirkwood Elf Army. And not only being a giant elf battle pack, it's also an orc battle pack. Having a warg, two gun to bed orcs, and one ladder. Good guy wise, we have a giant elf fortress which we combine into a giant wall or a giant circular fortress, which is a combination model which we'll show you soon. We also have four figures including two Mirkwood Elf archers, one guard, and Thrandril the Elf King. But, and one weapon rack, which also can be combined. But the one thing. With all of these sets, you can go put them together, but there's one bad thing about it. You have four Thrandrills. <laughs> I mean, it's good to get all the Gundabads and the Elves, but Thrandril, whoo! This set costs $30 in the U.S. from the second release year of the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit set, so 2013, and has 276 pieces. Once again, its number is 79012. All right. We're going to jump right into the minifigures, all being exclusive here, except for the Gundabads. Every other figure is exclusive. All right here. So first off, we have the Mirkwood Elf Guard. As you can see here, he has his plain elf head, which has also been used on Sandman in Marvel Superheroes. He has an elven dagger, awesome piece. Same legs as Legolas from Escape from the Mirkwood Spiders, so they're using the same legs. Body is new, and he has some light brown elf hair. Now turn his head around, and there's his back print, also pretty good, and his angry face. So he's super angry here. Here's how that looks. And this is just a plain old Mirkwood elf guard. You can also get a few other of these guys in a poly bag and barrel escape or Okay. Next up, we have one Mirkwood Elf Archer. Now, there are two of these guys in the set, so I'll put one back here and only show you one. They have emerald green hoods. They have the exact same guard. They're, they have the exact same body and the exact same legs and the exact same head. They just have a bow and an arrow pack here. What about me? I'm a fig counter too, right? No. <laughs> So, once again, they're the exact same as the guard, just with some different weaponry and hoods. Next up, we have Thrandril the Elf King with an exclusively molded headpiece, a broadsword. He has a red cape there. His legs, very shimmery printing on him. Let me see if I can just get this off to where you can see his body print and head print better. He's very stern right now, and his alternate face is super angry. Ah! And then you can lift up his very crinkly rough cape back print. The legs are actually dark gray, which it really does work. I mean, dark gray. But even though he's mainly an olive green base color, it works. Then we have one of the Gundabad orcs here. Now, this is Bye bye. Hey. Huh. So he has a gunmetal gray spear. Now this is the exact same one as the one from Dogledore Ambush previously reviewed. Body print, leg print, exact same. Back print, also exact same. He has the dark gray strands of hair Orcs, and the kill armor. Them. Ow, he shot me. Um, so yeah, and then the, the other one here is basically the exact same, just with an orc scimitar. So they're all different orcs, so you can get a lot of different, different stuff. So that's all the figures. Then, on the side of the first build bit of stuff, we have a weapon rack with a bow. Now, all these can also be combined via Technic Pin and Technic Pin holes. And there is a little ma micro figure down in there. It's a super nice little small thing that goes along with the set. Well, but now, in a separate video, there will be a review of all four of these when they are combined in one. And the weapon racks. Yes. It will also be showing how to make it. Yes. So you'll see how to do this. Well, but there is one thing first, though. Where we... The... We have uh, also an orc ladder here to scale the wall. Now that works good with those, like, General Grievous buildable figure toe pieces that they can climb up. So just a siege ladder. 
Last. And then in a separate video, we will be reviewing all four of the main builds. So be sure to get part two to see how the big build is after the word gets reviewed and his word break. We're going to do this thing in two parts, okay? So be sure to check out part two, which will be done very soon. First and last, but definitely not least, we have a warg here. Now this is dark, dark brown mold. His jaw can open, he can go down and up. So he has some articulation, and he has a saddle for a gun to bad to ride him. You can also remove the saddle and use this 1x2 brick, 1x2 plate, or warg brick to fill in the gap there in case you want to minus his saddle. And that's it for part one of the Lego. Mirkwood Elf Army Desolation of Smaug set. Be sure to check out part two in which my brother will also be uh, participating. And be sure to check out more Playmobil reviews that are on the way.